Ayan, na nauna siya. Hello, nauna ako sa iyo. Nauna siya. Hello. Hindi, gusto ko na Hindi, gusto ko na Hello, good okay, evening. Kaya ba talaga? So, pag nakita ko na yung sarili ko, ako na yun. Ibig sabihin na I'm in. Oh, hindi lang yun. Nagulat ka kasi nakaganong ka kanina. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, nagulat ako. Ako rin nagulat ako. Hi, people. Uh, for those of you who are listening in podcast right now, uh, I turned on the camera and it caught Janice by surprise. So, her mouth was open. For short, nakabukang bibig siya nung mm-hmm. nag-on ang camera niya. Oh! At Ngayon na naman pag-surprise, di ba? Bukang bibig. Ah, hindi. Mali, mali. Mali, mali, Wait. mali. Ang bilis. O, oh, yung mga lucky, yung mga lucky na nag, ano, na nag-comment, ito na unahan ko na kayo, ha, para ati sigurado. Si Judith Natividad. Hello po. Oh, hello po. Wow. Bye. Hello. Hi, Judith. Oh, ikaw next. Go. Mm, Joey. Hi. Watching you from Batangas. Hello. Uy, mat- mataas ang kanyang signa dyan. Si Lynn Isidro. Sir Joey yan. Na si Idol, he, ano? Sir Hindi Joey. Ano si Joey? Si Joey. Ah, kausap ko si Joey. Yung kanina. Si Joey, Joey. Oh, mag-usap na lang kayo. Huwag kayo manood. Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> si Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Na- Si Chari, good evening, Raymond and Janice. O at least, hindi niya tayo binaspas, eh, binastos, hindi niya sabi, good morning, Sir Raymond or Janice po. O, yung mga nagpo-po kasi, yun yung mga naman. And, uh, Oo. and uh, oh, watching from Boracay, hello. Uy, kamusta na Boracay? Uh, I miss Boracay. I haven't been to Boracay in what? I don't know, five years? Oo, oh, eh, ako, four years, three years? Parang, Oo. Parang, Oo, gano'n rin. Na-turn off ako dahil sa incheck. So, wala tayong magagawa doon. <laughs> ako hindi. Kasi, <laughs> walang budget. Pag-makasyon. <laughs> Ikaw pa, walang budget. Tigilan mo nga ako. Jonalyn Ay. Lim. Hi, Janice. Ah, so, hi. Si wala naman ito si Jonalyn. She's my si favorite. Si Jonalyn Viray. Hello, Gaga. Gaga si Jonalyn yan. Hello. <laughs> okay, so far we have 31, 32 viewers and 10 nagha-heart sa atin. Okay, we'll go to discussion fast ngayon. So, to tell you How the truth... How have you been? I have... Oh, nga pala, nga pala. Sorry, Kamsa. How have I been? Uh, very good. In fact, nagkaroon ako ng uh, three shoots for wow. today. Kaya pala... Ay, for this week naram- pala. Sorry, ha. Kaya pala hindi kita naramdaman this week. Oo, medyo ano nga rin ako. Kasi... Two hour phone calls. Ha? Wala tayong two hour phone calls this week. Wala. Mars, di ka lang mag-ano ko, mag... Uh, ano taw dito? Kinunan ako ng dugo three times for this week kasi kailangan magkaroon kami ng paano, ng test. Uh, ano taw doon? So uh, every time, every time you have a shoes, they, they take your blood for your rapid test? Aha! May dugo, may dugo ka pa ba sa katawa? Meh, kita mo, puti-puti ko. Oh. Ganda ng dugo ko, di ba? Ang <laughs> putla <laughs> <laughs> Si Judith pala watching from Sultan Kudarat. Sultan Kudarat. Saan yan? Sa Mindanao yun, di ba? Sultan Kudarat. Yeah, Mindanao naman. Oh. oh my God, I'm so bad at a lot of things. I'm so bad at geography. I'm terrible. Bakit? Wala lang. Para. There's so many places that I don't know. Ay, gawin mo yan. Si Berna from Arellano, watching all the way in Hong Kong. Alam mo, okay. mo mag-Google map ka, tapos i-print mo, lagay mo dyan sa record mo, sa office mo. Tapos i-cross out mo o lagyan mo ng ano, yung mga gusto mong puntahan. Alam mo, it works. It actually works. What works? What works? What works is, pag meron kang ganyan. Ay, hindi mo na mapupuntahan mo? Or oh. subconscious? It's like a vision board. Yes. Oh, sa mga hindi nakakalam ng vision board, yan po ang the secret the secret na libro na nung araw sa amin generation ang tawag doon, uh, vision board. Pero sa inyo ang tawag the secret. Ewan ko kung bakit nila binabago. Be- because of the book, I guess. Oh my God, kilala mo to? Ito, ito ba yun or artista? Hindi yata eh. <laughs> I will do it. Artista ka pa? <laughs> Nala, nalala mo si Mildred Ortega? Oh my God, panahon ko yan. Panahon mo. Medyo four years akong delayed sa'yo. De, Mars, obviously, hindi mo siya kilala. Kasi si Mildred Ortega no, is... I hear that. I hear huh? that. I ano, hear ano? Mildred Ortega. I just... I'm just not sure if I know how she looks like or what. <laughs> Hello, Tapurong City. Hello, Charles. <laughs> Sana takurong? Hindi ko alam yeah. yun ah. O oh, si, at least mayroong place na hindi alam. 
Eh, malay ko ba? Parang alam ko na, takore, hindi takorong. <laughs> Hi, from Kansas. Hi, Kansas. Hello, Jennifer. Si Sari uh, Pizarro is watching also. Teka muna, bakit hindi? Hello. Dapat nasa backstage na ating guest. Hindi pa siya dumadating. Eh, ang, ang topic ko naman natin yung kaibigan is what, Janice? Maganda ka ba o nagmamaganda? Oh, gusto ko yan. Daming ibig sabihin. Marami. Ang daming ibig sabihin. Oo, oh, lalo na sa mga... Ano maganda hindi, ka ba? Hindi, lalo na sa mga bakla. Mga bakla. Oh, marami yan. Mga feelingera or oh. ito ka ba maganda o feelingera ka lang. Maganda oh. ka ba talaga o nagmamaganda ka lang talaga? Oh, but remember, eh, hindi siya nakasentro lang talaga doon. Ah. Kasi meron din yung pagmamaganda. Is maganda ka ba? Maba- Pwedeng mabait ka ba talaga o nagmamaganda ka lang? Nagkukunwari ka lang. Di ba yun yung ibig sabihin yung nagkukunwari? Nag- yun ang ibig sabihin pang isa na nagmamaganda is nagkukunwari o nagpapanggap. O nag-iinarte, di ba? Nag-iinarte. Yeah. Yeah. So Ay, ikaw, maganda ka ba o nagmamaganda ka lang? Ay, nako, maganda talaga ako. Kung wala, wala silang choice. Take it or leave it. Ganyan. <laughs> Yan ang fighting spirit. Kaya nga ilaw na ilaw ka today. <laughs> ano na? May guess ka tayo. Busing busy. Oo. Oo. Kasi daw, inano ko yung guest natin. Okay. Ay, nababasa ko na yung comments. O, basahin mo. Tingnan mo, basa. O, gyan, basahin Ngayon mo. ko lang nalaman. Na? Ngayon ko lang nalaman na nababasa ko na. Ano pa? Yan, si Jason na nga. Oh, hi, everyone. Good evening. Si Tito Jason natin okay. yan. Tapos Uh-oh. si May is watching. Lay si May. From Raja City. Roja, si- ay gusto ko dyan, may seafood. Lay, kumaya ba ka talaga ng crabs dito sa amin at mga prawns. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, ang sarap kumain ng ano dyan, ng prawns, alimango, lahat ng klaseng oh. seafood. Gusto, Lay, pag pumunta kami dyan, dapat itour mo kami dyan sa Capiz. Ay, Capiz na tama. Anyway, so si Miss Olen, na guest natin for today, medyo nag- nag-hang lang daw yung kanyang ano. So, we will wait. Pero, we can continue with our, no? Si Sir Remo, maganda yan lahat. Oo, ito talaga si Lynn, oh. Faithful watcher si Lynn, sabi niya. Si Remo, maganda Lynn, yan mo. Sa kaka-loyalty mo niya, meron kami surprise just in case. Just in case tama yung surprise. Ikaw okay. ang isang uh, buwan na. O, teka muna. Ikaw naman. So, alam mo na... Asa na pagkain mo? Ako? Ay. Asa ay, yung pagkain? Yung nga pala, yung pinadala mo sa akin, ice cream. Hindi ako pwede mag-ice cream ngayong gabi. Gusto mo ako magkasakit. Bakit? Bakit? Oh my huh? God, that's, the best, that's one of the best things to eat at night. No, not when you're like me as an artist. Kung madadaka katulad ko at may show akong ganito, utang na loob, sugar and cold is wrong for my throat. So, iwas po soy. But, That's true, but it's a Sunday. Uh, yeah, it's a, but don't worry. Tomorrow is my ano, is my first day of the week na may shoot rin ako bukas. So, pwede ko yan ano, for sugar high. Si Pinky Tobiano is watching. Hi, Miss Pinky. Matagal na rin kita hindi nakita. Maganda ba ang background ko? Kasi nga, magchichisingisan yung dalawang babae. Kaya maganda yung background na yan. Yun. Mm-hmm. I think ibigan siya ni Bambi Fuentes. I think. Tama si ba? Pinky, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ay, no. Ay, okay. Binibigyan na ako. Si Mike John, yan, kasama ko sa badminton. Pagod ka daw sa badminton. Kaya hindi ka oh, pwede oh. mag-inscript. Pagod ako kasi kailangan ko mag-perform. Kasi may crush ako doon. Tapos kailangan, pakita ko na magaling ako. Kasi kung hindi, just ko dahi. <laughs> so nagmamaganda ka pala sa badminton. <laughs> Yun, ang tamang. Ano, nagmamaganda ka. Sa nagmamaganda ka sa badminton court. So gumanda oh, yun, ka ba? Ako doon. Yun, yun yung totoo. Uy, From Tokyo, si Anthony. Anthony, kising ka ba? Kala ko ba may pasok ka the next day? But thank you for staying up late and joining us. Okay, anyway. So, uh, while well, Olin is trying to figure out, yung nagmamaganda at maganda, ang dami natin, ano yan, ang dami natin topics na pwede ikutan. Ay, sumagot si, ano, si Pinky. Pinky. Sa- nga, oh. sabi nga niya, yes, Bambi is one of my closest friends. Oh, yeah. di ba? Also, is one of my friends. Okay. <laughs> Ay, okay, nag- Sabi ni Sir Jason, may nag-e-echo daw sa atin. Hindi naman ako pwede mag-echo. Uh, it's not me. 
Naka-off yung speaker mo sa uh, sa isang gadget kasi daw baka yun ang nag-aano sa kanya. Oo. Parang naka, naka-silent ako. Naka-mute yung telepon ako. Ay. But why? Nagtataka na. Ah, may... ako, kanina ba wala? Tito Jaisal, kanina ba wala? Tiyatanong niya kung okay na may echo. Wala naman siya sa... Kasi acoustics ko. Baka lang nga. Okay. May tanong si Joey nga para, Janice, at tukol sa'yo. Ah, tuloy pa ba ang teleseries sa ABS-CBN, ang lihim ni Ligaya? Well, uh, we had to cancel it kasi nga uh, because of what's happening, di ba? Because of the COVID. So, okay. actually, ang alam ko, October pa. But so, you know, Janice, isang question. Ano ba talaga ang lihim ni Ligaya? Gusto ko rin malaman ang lihim ni Ligaya. Ano nga ba? <laughs> oh, last chat out bago natin ipasok yung guest natin siya mm. from Orange County, Anaheim naku, puro mga ano si yan. Myra, hi Myra ano yun, ano yun Orange nandun? County uh, naba nandun uh, hi na, Mirza uh, hi daw sabi ni Mirza hi Mirza sa so Orange County na pinupuntahan natin na parang amusement park hi Mirza season, thank you for joining us no matter how late it is, you're such a loyal uh, follower, thank you shout out naman dyan po sa wife ko Ay, sabi ni Anthony from Japan. Uh, konnichiwa, Mihai. Konnichiwa. I'm Mihai Mi. Ah, May ba yun? Mi. Oo oh, nga, May pa. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Siya na lang ako magbasa. So anyway, our guest is there and here she is, si Miss Olen. Hi. Hi. Hey, Miss Olen. Hey, how are you guys? Ay, Hi, oh, I'm pala. good. How about you? I'm okay, fine. Okay. I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm okay. Pero mas si Miss O, laging maganda, no? Oo oh, oh, nga. Laging maganda. Kaya, hindi pwedeng Isang... pangit. Ayoko. Oh, well, siya, well, hindi mo naman talaga dapat pangit, <laughs> diba? Pero laging ka maganda, nakakainis. You're always the proper Oh, thank you, lady. Janice. Thank you so much. But that's diba? her work. Mga hindi nakakilala kay Miss O. Miss O, what do you do? Kasi ang pasasabihin ko sa mga tao, I teach etiquette and civility. Pero Miss O, coming from you, what is your expertise sa mga taong hindi kakakilala at this point? Kasi yun iba gabi. So, pakilala ka muna sa mga audience natin. Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Miss Olin Juarez Lim. They call me Miss O. And I'm a certified image consultant. So, what I do is empower people to be the best that they can be. So, you know, I've done work also with Janice before, long time ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I also collaborate with Raymond and I also do a lot of people who are politicians. I do also media, um, corporate work, individuals, anybody who wants to be inspired and anybody who wants to be empowered, that's that's my job. So I give you the knowledge, I give you, you know, the training that you need for your people, for your staff, and even for yourself so that you can achieve your goals and pretty much whatever you want to achieve in life. Ah, so, ah, so, ah, so, magic ba? so tinuturuan niyo silang maging maganda Correct Ganon Ganon na nga Ganon na nga Parang maganda sila <laughs> dapat <laughs> Maganda dapat so, oh, mo, maganda sila. Pag sinabi mo maganda sa behavior What exactly hmm. does that entail? Kasi di ba like Like me This is me Ito ako, this is me. Anywhere I go, this is me. Whether I'm in a hotel, whether I'm in a formal occasion, this is me. This is, if, I, this is me nga ba? O nagtotone down ako? So, minsan nagtotone down naman ako. Depende okay. sa, ko, sa company, di ba? But normally, okay. this is me. Okay. So, okay ba yon O dapat hindi? Dapat iba-ibang personalidad ko? No, I think what is important pag pinag-uusapan yung ganda or pinag-uusapan yung personality na isang tao is to be authentic. Kasi if you're putting up something that you are not, then that's not maganda, hindi ba? Because you're trying to be somebody you're not. So I think authenticity is part of beauty. Ayan, Ako, pagmamaganda, pag hindi ka authentic, pagmamaganda naman yun. Teka mo uh, na, yan yung magandang question. Sabi ko so, boldest ever. <laughs> Hindi ka naman magbo-bold dito. Pero, yan, Miss Oren, total sinabi mo, authenticity is the key. Eh, paano okay. nang ngayon, puso sa Instagram at sa mga social media posts, yung mga curated, yung kunyari, hi, I'm I'm swimming in my pool right now, pero actually, nandun na pala siya sa, ano, batyanya or something, you know? Or, hi, I'm traveling to Barakay and, you know, this hotel, marami na nahuli ng ganyan sa social media, di ba? So, ano ang tingin mo sa kanya? Well, well, no, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Because on social media, nobody puts them under really, really, real life in social media, diba? Nobody puts in the whatever is like normal na may butas kang t-shirt or whatever. You know, social media is really more part of branding, diba? So that's why other people, they really want to, ngayon, sa dami ng filters, sa dami ng pwede mong pagandahin, that's what they do, you know? They put out their best self, obviously, in social media. So, not everything that in social media is something you believe, obvious ba? Kasi, di ba, lahat ngayon na, nafo-photoshop na, alam mo yan, Raymond, okay? Oo, oh, pero, kagaya ko ha, I believe kasi, when I started my own Instagram, for me, it's personal. What mm. I put there is what I want to post. Like, let's yeah. say, um, uh, uh, Parang today, we had a good conversation. So I'll post this. Parang, oh, tonight I enjoyed uh, having this chica with my friends. Ganyan, ganyan. Mm. Tapos may marinig ka, ay, alam mo, dapat pagandahin mo yung feed mo. So, <laughs> ano yung alaboy ko? Oh, Kasi, you know, Jenny, especially with you, you're such a celebrity. People follow you, di ba? And whatever it is that is your personal, you can all, that's why there's like a setting, di ba? That is pretty much private for people that you want to to really, you know, parang show your your side na you don't have to argue with. Kasi maraming tao will argue with you in social media, especially may opinion sila. Alam mo naman lahat ng tao ngayon may opinion. Mura opinion ngayon, okay? Ay, no. But is it valid? That's the question. Oh, so, correct. So, ibig sabihin is that, you know, for the public, and usually, di ba, the mga celebrities who do this, yung kanilang public, uh, um, you know, uh, IG or whatever social media that they have, it's really more curated. Yun ang tinatawag na kinocurate nila, di ba? They, they select things that they want to put out, especially kung meron sila mga pelikula, meron sila mga kailangan ilagay. So, yun ang kinocurate, di ba? Pero kung personal mo, I would rather that you limit that really to your friends. Kasi not everybody could understand what you what you really want to say, di ba? Hmm, kaya lang I feel hmm. social media should also be personal. Kasi the idea hmm. there is for you to be reachable to to your fans. Oh, yes, right? Uh, right. So, pwede silang mag-message sa'yo or, you know, they can see who you really are. Kasi like, right. me, I wouldn't mind posting, like, I... I wouldn't mind posting na nahulog ako somewhere or what. And yeah. you know, that poke humor at myself. I right, mean, hindi right. ko post lang doon yung puro pagmamaganda kasi may days naman talaga hindi ka maganda. Correct. But oh, you see, yeah. kasi iba yung, ano, iba yung perception ng mga tao when it comes to celebrities. So that's the thing. So that's why you'll have to manage that, iba yung perception nila. So if, let's say, for example, people would like to comment on you, and, you know, this is what nga I was suggesting, is that, you know, put it on private. Just not everybody would understand it. That's the thing of social media. Okay. So if, let's say, for example, gusto mo naman siyang, you know, talagang this is you, di ba, parang, wala kang pakialam, di, tanggalin mo na lang yung comment feature. So, <laughs> di, wala maka-comment po. Ano ngayon? Ay, so, bago nga pala tayo mag-continue, natanggap yes. po ba yung pinagdala namin ni Miss Janice? Oh my God, thank you so much. Ano ba, nandito na nga yan, kakainin ko na nga. Sa kanya, dinadaya niya ako, pinakain na niya. Oh. I have it here. Thank you so much to Dimsum. Oh, Ay, huwag ka, huwag ka mag-plug. Total naman, bilhin natin. Ay, yeah, pwede mag-plug. Ay, bilhin ako nga, may pariya pang 40. <laughs> so, may pariya pang 40. Yung totoo, yung pariya na yan, hindi pala so clear. I asked ito, Jason. Yan pala yung tip namin ko sa, oh ano, sa... Oh my God. Tapos yung delivery guy, oh, apparently, hindi niya yata kinuha or something, hindi nagkaitigyan. Yeah. Naiba niya sa'yo, kala siguro, kasama dun sa ano natin. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. You can keep it. So the next delivery guy, <laughs> ibigay mo na lang. Ibigay ko. I will pass on to goodness. Yeah. Ito na. Mm. Itigilan ko na itong pagmamaganda ko kasi nakarobe ako para maganda, di ba? <laughs> Ang init mo lang. Ang init mo lang, Ayrton, dito sa... Ayan naman, no. Ayan naman, no. Pagmamaganda. <laughs> <laughs> kasi nga daw, yan yung topic. <laughs> Kaya hindi pala kaya. Ikaw yung panindigyan ng pagmamaganda. Hala. Wow. Anyway, so, ang uh, dami nyo palang viewers. Ang dami nyo palang viewers. Ang dami nyo palang viewers. Ang dami nyo palang viewers. Ms. Ode, can you read the comments on your end also? 
Okay, um, it says here basketball player dati ang asawa ni. Oo nga, da, uh, dati po siyang basketball player, si Coach Frankie, he's now a coach. And uh-huh. then, okay, then I have, you know, si Arlene Melgar, she's she's a relative of mine from San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Uh-huh. And then we have, um, who else here? Si Ryan, who is from Zara. I guess they're the ones curating our clothes. <laughs> alam nila yan okay sa akin nagtatago sila pag dumarating ako okay so, <laughs> Hindi kasi ano ako, I'm I'm a strictler for, you know, customer service, you know, I, I, ah. siyempre, I train their, I train their, ano, I, I know their manager, so I'd like their managers to always be on point when serving, di ba, the, the, the client, so medyo, you know, I'm very such a strictler for that. So I, you know, without really constant training for them, lagi ko silang tinuturuan kahit pa paano, pa unti unti Okay, so yan, tinuturuan mo sila. Let's say you go to a place and their customer yeah. service is bad. Do you complain? Do you um, complain? You know, do, you, do you look for somebody to talk to? Especially pag super bad ang customer service. Yeah. When it's really bad, you really have to talk to the manager. Ganun yung take ko doon. I, I really tell the manager about it. Kasi, or sometimes we just leave. And it happens, you know, talagang nagko-complain ako sa 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 manager. I will tell them right away. Hindi ako man, hindi ko lang ako magko-complain sa waiter. I will just tell the waiter what's happening. And then I will tell them, "Can you call your manager?" Kasi wala namang magagawa yung waiter. So you go to the person who is who's the one who will be able to decide, 'di ba? Sila yung magdi-decide ko kasi manager. Kasi yun naman ang for, dapat forte niya yun, 'di ba? True, true. Kasi in, yes, in yes. any case Mm-hmm. Oh, you know. Anyway, let's go back to the question ng maganda ka ba o nagmamaganda ka pa. Sige, One of the things that we talked about ni Janice before we went on air is this. Siyempre maraming mga ano, maraming mga trends or uso-uso. And one of the uso that napansin namin ni Janice is that uso yung mga pekpek shorts sa mga babae. Dito <laughs> na yung tulip shorts. Hindi namin maintindihan bakit naging uso siya pero alam ko during the 70s na uso siya. Yeah. This, eh, bakit oh, naman hindi natin pagbigyan ng mga generation? Na uso siya. Mm-hmm. Ano, no? But it 80. wasn't called Yeah, but it wasn't called pek pek shorts, diba? Boxer shorts lang. Ito yung pek pek shorts. Oh, it was called pek pek shorts. It was called pek pek shorts? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. May issue, kami, may issue kami ni Janice. Oh, yeah. Siyempre, baka, baka sumugod na naman mga comments section dito. Pero sumugod kayo kung tama o mali yung sinasabi namin. Number one, kung ang anak nyo ang nagsusot ng perfect shorts, okay. siguro pwede yung dahil... Ha? Okay, yung mga anak ko, okay sila mag perfect shorts, di ba? Pero pag ako nagsuot ng perfect shorts. Oh. <laughs> Sa beach, okay lang. Okay. Hindi. Oh, hindi nasa mall yung iba. Paano ba ako nagsuot din sa mall? Okay. Sabi na lang natin, kung yung nanay ang nagsuot ng pet pictures, paano yan? Nanay, hindi okay. naman ako eh. Oh, you know, but children wear pet pictures all of the time. So, okay. so minsan, sinasabi ko sa kanila, okay, what's up with those shorts? Okay. They're shorts. They're cool. But it's really up there. Yun yung shorts <laughs> nila. It's really way up there. Okay. Kasi, you know, my take is this. I mean, kung maganda naman ang legs mo, okay lang. Pero kung may embroidery, di ba sa likod ng bat, yung sa ilalim na ang bat may embroidery, hello, mag-isip ka naman. At saka kung maitim yan, mag-isip ka naman, di ba? I mean, hinisip mo muna. Ayoko yung may embroidery sa likod. Medyo upset ako doon, di ba? And syempre, may age group yan. Kagaya ko, if I wear the pekpek shorts, which I, I really say these things, you know, gabi naman, I really say this. Oh, so naman, I would wear the... I would, the, I would wear that to the beach. Oh, I wear that to the beach. I mean, it's at the beach. You know, everybody wears that in the beach. Okay, lah. Miss O, kaya ng kaya mo pang magsuot ng pet pictures. Pero parang I think my kids will frown already in the mall. Hindi na siguro. Alam mo na, I I say no. I already say no to it. Parang ah, parang not anymore. Parang ganon. Meron ako hinihintian ngayon, Janice. <laughs> meron na pala. <laughs> meron na. Parang meron na, meron na take ko na siya na, okay, hindi ko na to. Parang this is not, parang I've been there, done that, and I don't wanna go back. Ayoko na. Parang okay na ako. Nagawa ko na yan. Yung ganun. Eh, pero Respect. some people, 
paano yung mga ibang tao na wala silang awareness na ang, ang laswatig nan o ang pangitig nan? Katulad nung, you know, it's me expressing my body. You know, I, it's my expression. Ganun, sasabi, yun ang sagot nila that. sa akin para to, It's my expression. Ganun sila. I, I can that. afford to buy. Ganun. Okay lang, siguro kasi expression nila. Ito ang sasabihin ko. Ah. You know, what is the weird thing I see with that pek pek shorts is they wear another shorts underneath the pek pek shorts. Don't huh? you know that? They yeah. have this parang, they have this parang uh, bike shorts sa loob ng pepper shorts. And I like, so is that okay um, or is that not okay? No, that's not okay. You wear a pepper shorts, you, you have to be daring enough to go bold with it. But if you yeah. wear underneath na meron kang bike shorts, I mean, what what the hell is going to say? What's the point? Diba? Yeah, I mean, what is that for? Right? So magtitibak yeah, sila, yun ang suggestion mo, magtitibak ka mga babae para... Kasi Aba, kita na yung kuyukot doon eh. Muna, hindi ba if you're brave enough to wear these kinds of outfit, be brave enough to wear proper undergarments. Yan naman ang ako. Yan naman ang sinasabi ko. Tama. Yan naman ang ako. Teka, nawala ako. Nawala ako. Anong tama? Sabi ko, if you're brave enough to wear certain garments, yung tight-fitting, maikli, be brave enough to wear proper undergarments. Yan na! Hindi yung, hindi yung, hindi ba, hindi yung tama yung undergarments, meaning the panty and bra. So kung hindi tama yung suot mo, paano tignan? So that's why you have to know how to wear it and when to wear it. Exactly. Ganun siya. Eh, kasi paano, paano pag nasa escalator sila? Ay, nakikita ko ay embroidery, kaya nga ako galit. <laughs> Diba? 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 Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng cellulite. Embroidery. Yan, may natutunod kami. Salamat, Miss O. Ladies and gentlemen, the word for the day is embroidery. Sa mga walang embroidery sa legs, taas ang kamay. O walang nagtaas ng kamay. Sila tayo may cellulite, ha? Raymond, the, the embroidery, what I'm talking about, is yung, yung parang butlig-butlig underneath. Yung, Ayan! Yung maitim-itim. Iba yung cellulite. Iba pa yung cellulite. Iba pa yung cellulite. Kasi alam mo, everybody has cellulite. So I'm pretty much forgiving. Pero yung embroidery, yung parang butlig na maitim, yun, embroid, parang lace embroidery siya doon. Oh. Ayoko <laughs> niya. Oh, one of our viewers is saying na nag echo ka daw. Is, you, is one of your gadget uh, on or something? This is on. Okay, baka I'm too near. There. Is that better? Slight pa. May, baka hinaan mo lang daw ng konti. Ng ano, nag okay. Nag-echo ka na. Sayang. Yeah. Sorry. Ayan. Right. May, tanong, may tanong tayo from Jap- Tokyo, Japan. Yan, yan. Kung ano ang expression natin, ang ating suot, pagdating kasi sa iba, may negative thoughts sila. Diyan pumapasok ang hindi magandang isipan. Oh. So, Parang ang sasabi ni Auntie, hindi maganda yung suot mo? Parang ganun? Or hindi ba? No, no, I, 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 kung ano yung expression natin sa su- ating suot, pagdating kasi sa iba, may negative thoughts na sila. Diyan po mapasok kung hindi maganda pag-iisip. Okay, negative, negative thoughts can mean napapangitan ka do sa suot niya or yeah. parang, ang kapal naman ng mukha nito, nakasuot pa ng ganun. Or is I, it the other kind of thought, which is... I, I think it's the other kind of thought that what they're saying. So, lascivious thoughts. Yes, it could be that. Kasi, I mean, ang thoughts mo, kontrolado mo, bahala ka sa buhay mo, ikaw yan. Pero yung suot ko, should not, should not let you think that of me, that you can do things to me. You know I love that. So, Mag-dugo. yun yun. Mag-dugo. Oo, Mag-dugo. hindi mo. How far should you push it? Uh, oh, no, wait. Again. Again, I balik think... tayo dun sa what I'm wearing should not be paano yun? Kalimutan ko. Not, uh, <laughs> it should not. It should not uh, tri- uh, give you sexual thoughts. Kunyari, may mga babae yeah. mahilig mag-low ano, cleavage o may mga babae okay. mahilig uh, pakita ng kuyukot in public. Yung mga ganun tipo. So, uh, whatever they're wearing, am I correct, Miss O? It shouldn't... Yeah. Uh, should not uh, be... It should not. Uh, what I'm saying is that anytime that we wear, magsuot tayo ng something sexy, it should not be, okay, a signal to any man, okay, or to whoever that would, you know, would find it, you know, parang malicious about us. Kasi bastos, what we're showing is bastos. Remember, di ba, we're talking about self-expression that we, I wanted to wear the short skirt and I look good in a short skirt. 
So why would you be mabastos or ikaw you think eh kasi nagpapakita ka ng legs. Problema mo yun, ikaw may pag-iisip na ganun, not mine, right? right so that's okay. the thing that we're talking about here when it comes to the women being always blamed for being too sexy. It's it's you know it's more of how you're perceiving us wearing those sexy clothes. Oh yeah, Miss oh, I will sexy I will clothes. Hindi lang siya sa clothes, it's also behavior, di ba? Yeah, oh, mismo. Yung behavior is another thing. Kasi di ba dapat okay, another ako, thing. Marunong ka umupo nang tama. Of course. Ka ng tama. Of course. <laughs> Hindi pwede yung maikling suot mo, hatak ka ng hatak. Aba, hindi okay. naman bagay lang yan. Either maikli <laughs> o masikip. Eh may mamili ka, di ba? <laughs> Huwag kang magsuot ng ganyan kung lagi kang gano'n ka yeah. lang. Okay, Miss O, oh, since ikaw na nagsabi, huwag ka na magsuot ng ganyan kung hindi ka marun magsuot. Ito nga yung problema natin sa Pilipinas is that there are two school of thoughts. One is tama ka. When your expression is maganda ang legs mo, pwede ka naman magsuot ng short skirt, okay lang. Pero that school of thought is for me, I believe, you can contradict me, is that nakaano siya dun sa mga tao nag-aral, Atenean, University, Lasal, or whatever, because may pinag-aralan sila. So education and exposure is, a, is an integral part of saying self-expression. Wait, 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 let me finish, let me finish. The point is this, may mga taong gustong gumaya sa kanila. Those people who cannot understand, who have not, who do not have that same understanding. So, ay, suit pala, kunyari, kunyari, sabi na rin Janice in the 90s, ay, suit ni Janice, yung maliit, ano, naka, naka-pek-pek short siya, magpe-pek-pek short siya rin ako. Not understand that Janice has a way of wearing a pek-pek short as compared to gusto mo lang gayahin dahil ay uso si gayahin natin. Kaya nga ako nababother ako. And I, I'm I'm sorry if I'm not making you speak right now. Nababother ako sa mga babae. Yung mang galaw sila babasi na ng baba ng skirt. Sabi ko, hmm. girl, pumili ka na may clean skirt. So talagang whether you like it or not, bakit ah, natakit yung skirt mo? Bakit <laughs> the more mo pinababa, the more kami napapatingin tuloy ngayon because ikaw ang nagbibigay ng attention sa sarili mo because you are awkward. The word is, you are awkward in carrying okay, this. Okay. Uh -oh. Oh. okay. This is what I'm gonna say. It will only matter if you make it matter. So therefore, kung abala ka doon sa palda mo, then it will also matter to us. Kasi yun ang tinitignan namin. Hata ka ng You get what I'm saying? So it, will only matter. <laughs> so it will only matter if you make it matter. So sa akin is that, panindigan mo yan. Ganun ang part yan eh. Panindigan yan eh. Di ba ang kagandahan, kailangan pinaninindigan. Eh kung wala kang panindigan, huwag ka na mag maganda. Umarte ka lang ayon sa ganda. So kung wala <laughs> Ano <laughs> kung pinaninindigan naman? O oh, yan. Yeah. Kapag pinaninindigan niya, yan, niya mm. hindi pa nagadapat. Alam mo kasi, that's a matter again of perception. Oo, so, alam mo, may mga tao na akala natin hindi maganda sa kanya. Pero sa atin yun. Pero in the first place, maganda sa kanya eh, di ba? It's all a matter of how we are, you know, we are thinking, educated, and perception natin. And sometimes it also has something to do with also our past experience. Pero now, iba na ang mundo. Ang level of beauty at ang basis ng beauty now is ever-changing. Okay, so example, okay. di ba dati, oh Raymond, ito alam mo to, na ang babae o lalaki para maging maganda ka o gwapo ka is oval ang face shape. Agree? Di ba? Hindi. Ngayon, pagka puro kanto ang mukha mo, maganda ka. So, di ba, yung square jaw, may ganun kasi nag-iiba ang concept ng beauty. Nung araw, o, oh, pag mamaputi ka, maganda ka. Hindi na ngayon, di ba? Yeah. Ngayon, morena ka, you know, it's accepted. So, that is why nag ever changing ang beauty talaga, ang concept. So, I think what is important is that alam mo kung anong bagay sa'yo. Alam mo kung saan ka comfortable sa katawan mo. And that is where, you know, you'll find confidence. Pero kung gumagaya ka lang, halata naman namin talaga. Okay. So, since we're there, yeah. since we're there, now there, beauty is uh, evolving. Diba? Mm -hmm. Yung pagiging maganda ay nag -e evolve What if the evolution comes from, dahil, let's say, naingit ako sa'yo kasi ang sexy, ni Miss O. Diba? <laughs> so, sa sobrang gusto kitang gayahin, ayan, patapyas na ng lahat hanggang sa pa, hindi ganun mukhang totoo. Mga science project <laughs> na sabi mo. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Kasi sometimes, 
sa pagmamaganda natin, ang ginagawa natin is we don't like to expose what is ours. We like mm-hmm. to be an ugly somebody copy else. of somebody else. Or somebody yeah, else. Right. Yeah. 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 Because, Alam mo sa yeah. akin, hmm. go ahead, Raymond, sorry. It's not because there was a time, I won't mention who or what or whatever, na lahat nagpaayos ng muka, okay? Pag minuna ko ng litrato itong mga to, iisa lang ang molde kung saan pinanggalingan. So, yun, on my end, parang hindi naman kayo pangit, eh bakit kayo nagpapagawa ng muka? So, where is that need coming from? It, I, it confuses me kasi, photo, alam mo, photographer ako, lahat ng, lahat, hindi naman ng gaya pero lahat ng maganda, kinunan ko na. And yet, they still have this weird, ano, of, still, they say improvement, but for me, uh, it doesn't become an improvement. Nagiging copycat ka, nagiging clone ka, ng pare-pareho na kayo ng itsura ng ilong, pare-pareho na kayo ng itsura ng boobs, pare-pareho. You know, nagiging copycat na lahat ng tao. Yeah. Is, that, is that a good thing? Alam mo, eh, ay sa akin, no, I have nothing against, um, you know, magpaganda ka or magpa... Oh palit ka ng ilong, gusto mo magpalagay ng babang apat, I don't know, you know, apat ang books mo, baon ka pa sa likod, or patapis ka dito. Alam mo kung may pera ka, go ahead, do it. Kaya lang, di ba, anything that is to an extreme is we cannot have it also. Kasi nga, to the extreme meaning to say, even some doctors are saying no to you already, dahil nga, wala na eh, di ba, hindi na, hindi na kayang gawin, kumbaga. So that means, to me ha, pagka, um, meron ka insecurity, dyan po mapasok yun, yun di ba? Kasi you go with the company na, you know, ganito sila, so ikaw nakikigaya ka. Ang, ang tanong, bakit? bakit? Bakit ka gumagaya? So it's more of, you know, upkeep, it's more of the company you keep. So that's why minsan, the company you keep, you all carbon, isa lang, parang zero. Ay, lang sila. Oh, I think baka alam mo na yung sinasabi ko. Wait, may isang alam comment si... <laughs> uh, kira- remember, uh, Janice, kilala mo si Ralph. Oh, Ay, yes, hi Ralph. Ralph. I like what he said. Mm-mm. I agree. So beauty is part of social construct. It changes across time, place, and place culture. And culture. Ah, Totoo naman. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Mm-hmm. Kasi one of the things that uh, separates us from time, place, and culture, place pa lang in culture to, naalala mo, Miss mm-hmm. O and Denise, yung mga nananalo sa international beauty pageants, ay there mo sinasabi natin, Mukhang kabayo. Uh, hindi na ako magtatago ng ano. Remember when Melanie Marquez won Miss International? So, paano siya nanalo? Ang laki. Aurora P1 or Margie Moran. Ang, the common person will say, ang laki ng ngipin nila. Nakausi ang ngipin nila. <laughs> hindi naman sila ano. Ang itim-itim nila. Bakit sila nanalo? And yet, in an international point of view, from another country or another culture's point of view, the morena is such a thing of beauty for us. Kaya nga, yung mga morena, normally, hindi ko siya sabing lahat, they end up with foreigner boyfriends. And that's not bad. Kaya nga ako, mag-aalis ako, gusto ko ang itim-itim ko, nagpapaitim ako para <laughs> sandali. <laughs> yun, ang, yun ang sa tao nagmamaganda, pero hindi mm-hmm. nagwa-work. So useless. So, so you understand no, what, what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, uh, go ahead. You know, Please. Years ago, ako na intindihan ko yan eh. Because, you know, like when you read magazines, everybody is so sexy sa cover ng magazines. Uh, Aminin na natin yan. Lahat sexy. Lahat maganda. Oh, she's on the cover of that magazine. Ako, I've been on the cover of magazines. But, you know, I also fall victim to all these things. Why? Because you want to dress a particular way. You want to be like them. You have... Hindi mo wala yung inggit. Magkakaroon ka ng envy. Diba? So... Uh-huh. You know, I have never been a really thin person. I have always mm. been shabby. Okay? So there were many times in the past that I did liposuction because I thought it would keep oh me thin. God. Oh my God, yeah. you did? I didn't know that. Yeah, many times. Many times after na huli, natakot na ako. Sabi ko, Janice, tigilan mo na yan. Kung hindi, hindi talaga. Okay. Hindi kasi naisip ko rin. Naisip ko rin, of course, if I were thinner, I would look better things would be better, I would dress better, di ba? Or, kasi lagi ka sasabihin, oh, ang taba mo. Or, you're 10 pounds bigger on cam. Mm. So, I did the liposuction. Pero, hindi ko na panindigan kasi hindi ko na maintain. Kasi gusto ko kumain. Masarap yeah. kumain. Eh. Gusto mm. ko kumain. At aminin na natin, tapat ako mag-exercise. Mm. Tapat ako talaga mag-exercise. For me, my only exercise, even today, is moving around the house. 
cleaning, cooking, doing chores, doing errands. Pero, tinanggap ko na. Tinanggap ko na, uh, sorry guys, this is it, I have five kids. Naglabas na ako ng limang bata sa katawan na to, okay na ako. Okay yeah. na ako. Naging cute na ako dati, okay na ako. Wala na akong mm. dreams of becoming somebody else. But, of course, in my younger days, I had a different picture of yeah. what beauty was. Because that was also dictated by the industry we move in. Correct. So, what the industry was saying is not necessarily correct. Uh -huh. Tama, hindi siya necessarily correct because if come to think of it, they're letting you be put in in a certain mold because feeling nila this is what people would accept. Wherein, right. in fact, they should have educated people to love themselves and be you as you so that people, a little child would say, oh my God, I look like Janice, you know, I don't, I, you know, I, you know, I'm more petite, but you know, I look pretty. And then, you know, it gives people a chance. Kesa everybody is payat because not everybody nga has a mold of payat. You know, maybe we call it Janice na pleasingly plump. Oh, di ba? Or you call, <laughs> yun ang tawag namin, pleasingly plump. Okay? Or you'd say molded. Kasi we say me molded ako. Ibig sabihin yung buto may nababalot na laman. So I am molded. Ganyan. Yung mataba, molded ako, gano'n, ang mga expression namin. So, so, so di ba, you, you used to model, you used to model, yes. and you used yes. to have a particular, di ba, laging waistline, yes. So, pressured ka. Many years ago, yes. I mean, I had a waistline when we're doing fashion show, luncheon show, siguro, my waistline, the smallest, siguro, was 26. Ganon yung waistline ko. Oh. And because that was modeling days. I mean, ganon kami, di ba, nung araw. And because maybe I, I was also younger. So, the thing is, di ba, as you mature, nag-iiba yung body composition mo. Nag-iiba yung, nagsuslow yung metabolism mo. So, it becomes different. Hindi, uh -huh. you know... Lucky are those who stay in that same shape all the time. But hindi eh. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of work also to, you know, be in a good fit and all. Hindi naman yan nangyayari over time. I mean, you know, wala naman tayong nutritionist in the house. I don't have a nutritionist in the house. But, you know, you have to have sariling sikap. So it's difficult, you know, when we compare ourselves with, you know, foreign lalo la, foreign artists and all. Because sila may nutritionist. It takes a village to make some a J-Lo. You know what I'm saying? It takes a whole village. Jay Lo doesn't, doesn't wake up like that. I know the secret. I'm about sure. It. Oh, oh, I'm sure. So, and I'm not going to get a book. I'm not going to get a book. I'm not going to get a book. I'm not going to get a stretch marks ni Jay Lo. Hindi nga lumalabas. Yung galing galing na makeup artist. Siya. Teka, ganun, oh. Eh, may question ako, Miss O. One of the things that bothers me is this. When we teach our children, love yourself, be proud of yourself, meron kang self-worth, and yet on the other side of the spectrum, uy, okay lang na pangit ka, pwede ka naman bumili. Ay, pangit yun, ano, ilong mo, magpaano ka anak na magpa, uh, magpatabas Ayos. ka ng self You know, nag nagkakaroon ng, uh, you know, parallel, ay parallel, nagkakaroon ng polarizing effect to sa bata ngayon. Nasasabi mo, we're teaching you to love yourself, you know, lalo na sa LGBT. Love yourself, love yourself. Tapos bigla naman on the other end, way pangit ka, dapat magpaputi ka, kasi ang mapute, mayaman, at mukhang malinis. You know, it's confusing for these children. So, how do you address something like that na two opposite ideas of loving yourself and yet the idea of it's okay to change my body, it's okay, you know, mga ganun tipo ang nangyayari. Are you saying, are you saying pagka may parent or ang nagsasabi or kamag-anak or somebody who says? It comes from all sides. It can come yeah. from peer pressure. It can come from, I, I, I know some parents peer pressure, would say, Peer pressure, yeah. I think, is the biggest factor. Peer pressure. Factor. Well, ngayon, see, there's Instagram. Mm -mm. Lalo na, kasi gusto ng mga bata, perfect ang itsura nila, but there is no per there is no such thing as perfection. Well, it's it's also siguro the company you keep, di ba? the friends that you have, or, you know, stuff like that. And syempre, you know, we understand that words are always the most powerful drug used by mankind. I mean, uh -huh. iba yung iba ang salita, you know, it lingers on. So kung bata ka pa lang sinasabihan ka na hindi ka maganda, hindi ka maganda, lalaki ka isip mo, hindi ka maganda. Pag sinabi mo, ganito ka, ganito ka, lalaki ka, ganun ang iniisip mo. So kung bata ka pa lang yun na yung nadidinig mo, akala mo, ganun talaga. Okay? So that's yeah. where... 
conflict comes in with you know adults and there's so many adults like that now so because nga ganun yung pagpapalaki so to some you know it's it's really more of a balance that's why ang hirap ang hirap talaga i i what do you call this i what do you, um yung self evaluation mo uh, and how yeah. people perceive you you know that's that's also a big thing and that's part of what we do sa coaching namin with our clients we we yeah. really teach them na what is the main factor why are we this why are we that so if it's peer pressure you have to remember aba eh kung matanda ka na na peer pressure ka pa eh ipanayan na no may difference <laughs> ano nangyari lang yan sa high school di ba so <laughs> may iba oh my god na peer pressure na peer yes, pressure oh, pa i am so sorry a majority of our people in this country is still in high school so i'm sorry <laughs> yung mga high school <laughs> na kakilala ko may trabaho sa corporate world miss Janice paki-basa to Oh, thank you, Ralph. Ang sweet naman. Sabi niya, Miss Janice Warm Hug, whatever you look like, we love you. Siguro sa panahon dati, entertainment magazine creates psychological pressure on how women and men should look like. But now, social media creates deeper effects which leads to high cases of depression among young people. I yeah. believe so. Oh, yeah. I believe so. Kasi kahit ako napapansin ko, ha, if you go to your explore page, pansin ko yan, nag-evolve talaga yung mga tao eh. Una, makikita mo siya, may damit pa siya, wala pa siyang boobs, medyo chubby-chubby pa siya. <laughs> Tapos, after a while, paliit na ng paliit yung pisingi niya, paliit na ng paliit yung katawan niya, palaki na ng palaki yung boobs niya. Tapos, paliit na rin na paliit yung damit niya. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> well, I'm serious. I've seen this. I've seen this. Kasi talagang na-amaze ka. Oh my God. Siguro kasi, una, makikita na nagwa-1,000 likes. So, na sa sa likes, pag lumingit na naman sa kanya, pag lumaki yung boobs niya, pag bumaba yung cleavage niya, nagiging 3,000 na yung likes. Correct. Oh, Tapos the obvious. next time, pag sobrang laki na ng boobs niya, nasa 10,000 na yung likes. Miss, well, miss, there, oh, yeah, miss go ahead. Oh, isn't that, oh, you know, that's what I'm saying also. Isn't that what Janice is saying? May point siya. It, the highest followers and the highest likes in Instagram are ones with when you show parts of your body that are sexual, that has sexual connotation. <laughs> it, it, there is connection with what you wear. But really? the thing is... It's kids, the biggest boobs and the smallest bathing suits. Okay, but, yeah, so... The kids don't understand <laughs> that they're being objectified by their own followers. Correct. So, ibig sabihin yan... Ang, ang, ang self-worth mo, if it's dependent on the number of likes that you have, there's something wrong with you. Kasi pag wala na nag-like yan, magsa-spiral down ka. Ay. So, well, look at Emiliano. Hi, Emiliano said. Okay. Are you, in a, in, are you in a tuxedo? Okay. Sabi niya, regardless of how you look, the most important thing is you are comfortable with yourself. Which I agree, right? Whatever you think for me doesn't matter as long as I'm fe- I'm feel- I feel good with my shape. Sometimes other say otherwise because they are jealous. So, Sa akin, it's it's really not more maybe jealousy, but to me is that basta I'm healthy, you know, wala kang pakialam. You don't feed me, I don't care, right? So your opinion, good, but you can keep it to yourself. I don't need to hear it, right? So kasi everybody goes through something. And sometimes people has weight gain, has this, because may nagdadaanan or something, right? And alam mo naman tayo ngayon, lahat na pinagdadaanan natin, Iskinita, Edsa, lahat, highway, lahat tayo may pinagdadaanan ngayon. Lahat ng gilid pinagdadaanan natin ngayon. So meaning, so meaning, meron talagang ano, meron talagang, you know, certain Hugot. things that you cannot. Oh, at saka sometimes, say for example, you're taking meds, that's making them big. How would you know that? Di mo alam yun, nag-comment nag, 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 nag ka lang dyan, pero hindi mo alam. Di ba? So, so yeah, what I'm saying is that... Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's more compassion talaga. So that's, why, talaga. so that's why people should not say, oh my God, this is such a favorite. It happens to me all the time. I'm sorry. Uy, ang taba-taba mo na. Yung kagigising ko lang. Yeah, I'm in a bad mood, please. Don't say those yeah. things. Pero lagi, di ba? Uy, ang taba-taba mo na ngayon. Ang ah, sagot mo, sabi mo sa kanila, alam mo, ang mataba, pwedeng pumaya at yung masamang ugali. Wala malang ngayari. Ganyan. No, <laughs> so, you see, that's a different... <laughs> I wish I could do that, but I can't do that. So sometimes, I, know. <laughs> I just smile. But then there are days when I just exactly. walk out. I just exactly. walk out. And I, exactly. I mean, hindi kita babastusin, 
Pero mm-hmm. my walking out shows me Means something that, new. Hey, don't talk to me like that. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Ako naman pag during ano during family reunion niya yung masasabi, Uy, Raymond, long time no si <laughs> Uyong sa bata tayo. sa mo. At sinasagot ka ka, buti nga ako mataba, ikaw consistently pangit ka rin. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, nakakainggit ka, ikaw consistent ka, ako nga payat ang bapay. Kasi ikaw, consistently pangit ang ugali mo talaga. <laughs> Alam mo, maybe you should go, oh, Jelly. <laughs> oh, Jelly, thank you. Mitch, oh, has always been your liar. Diyante ko to, ano? Alam na niya yan. So, Jelly, yan. Ako, yeah. nakakasarap ka usap nito, mga to. May show rin to. Janice, uh, do you know that The Eavesdrop is another show which I guested? And then they're very interesting people when they talk about mga points of view. Parang tayo, the only difference is ganito. Sila English speaking, tayo balahura tayo. <laughs> so, I think, no, when it comes to, kasi, yan nga, meron mga topics of conversation that you should avoid. Lalo na yung mga when you comment about weight, age, diba, or sex, or whatever. You don't say things like that. I mean, pan- napapanawag. Basta kung ano yung ayaw mo madinig sa'yo, wag mo din sabihin sa iba. Yun ang sinasabi yeah, natin. Pero hindi na ba tinuturo ngayon? That, that's wrong. Oh, you know what, Janice? This is the thing. Um, parents would say, pinapadala ko nga kayo sa school para mag-aral kanyo niyan. Sasabihin ng school, ay hindi po, bago pumasok dito sa amin yan, dapat marunong na po sila ng basic, ng basic etiquette. Eh ngayon, paano mo sasabihin yun sa mga magulang? if ang magulang, uh, dati kasi only one parent working. Dati yun, swerte tayo. I think my my mom yeah. was like that. She was a stay-at-home no. mom. But nowadays, hindi na pwede. Sa economy at sa gastos ng buhay, there are two parents working. So, ang hirap, di ba? Kanino na iiwan? Kay Lola, kay Ate, kay, sometimes kay Yaya pa. So, hindi pa yun. What makes it also more complicated sometimes is when both parents are also out of the country working. So, if you're saying, hindi ba yan tinuturo sa eskwela, sometimes the eskwela is saying, no, you should give them to us na meron na at least. But the schools doesn't have that much now. Yung tawag doon GMRC, Good Morals and Right Kada. Hindi na yan ang tawag ngayon. Ngayon, it's values education ang tawag dyan. Wala na yung sakar, GMRC, kanda. Wala na yan. Values education, mga ganyan na yung tinatawag. So, sometimes, that's why I do this for schools. And when schools call me to talk about etiquette and stuff like that, I say yes because it's also my way of giving back to schools, di ba? So, you know, tinuturuan mo sila ng konting... Um, you know, konting ganito na hindi nila makuha. And that's, I think that is also why corporate people now, they hire, you know, hire hire me, hire us, no, kami ni Miyaka OJL, is because also, nagkukulang din ng finesse and skills, mga ganito, because hindi nila nakuha dati in schools or anywhere else. So, okay. it, it happens, yeah. It's also economics, wow. man, so, mahirap. Okay, uh, uh, before, you know, I before, used to think, I used to, oh, take a remot. I used to think etiquette was very simple because it meant saying thank you, saying please, saying excuse me if you if you hiccup or if you yawn or what if you sneeze or if you're going to leave the table, excuse me. Yeah. It's not that simple. It's not Hindi nga kaya nga may COVID eh. Kasi imagine mo, tinuturo ko na yan every time, all the time in my class. Wash your hands, di ba? Lahat yan in my class, a grooming class, wala dyan. Bakit ang bumak over your mouth? Oh, cough lang, ganun lang. Oh, hindi, hindi ngayon, ganun. Hindi sila ganun. Nobody, yeah, nobody teaches them. But you know, you're right. The world gets complicated. It's not like before where it was... It was simpler that you. Tama ka, Miss Olin. Sometimes there is a, a mom at home that can actually teach you, and yeah. then work. Even if my mom before, my mom and my dad, uh, we weren't uh, comfortable also, so my mom and my dad would work. But my mm. mom had time to make bunganga every Saturday with us. <laughs> if, if my mom wasn't there, my lola would make bunganga the same way. So kahit pa na na pukpuk kami ng ganon don. I have a yeah. question. Uh, yes. Most of our viewers also are men. Ano ang mga faults ng mga lalaki naman? Kasi we've, we've dealt with women, yung mga maganda at nagmamaganda. Sa mga lalaki, ano ang mga faults ng lalaki sa mga magwapo at nagpapagwapo? Yun yung mga... Ah, okay. Ay! May, 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 ah, ah, yeah, may, okay. pet, may pet peeve kasi ako sa gym. Alam mo yung sa You know, I, I used to work in a gym. So I've okay. seen it all. I mean, I've seen them all. Okay. I've seen them all. 
Marami, marami. Okay. So, ang hate na hate ko yung ganito. Yung nasa gym, di ba? Yung, ah, ako makabuhat. Ah. Di ba? Tapos, titingin ka agad kung nakaflex. First time niya sa gym, ah. Di ba nakakairita? First time. First day. Di ba? I mean, at saka yung sisi ko na, ah, sisi ko ng ganyan. Yung, ah, ah. Pwede gaangan. Ako ganyan. Pwede gaangan para hindi ka maingay. Diba? So I'm like, I'm like, you see, you can say I have experiences. I have seen it. You know, that's what also makes the experience whole pleasure because I've been in that scenario also. So, marami ding lalaki also who, who now kasi, they are also open to surgery. They're also open to looking good. Pero sometimes, hindi rin bagay. Alam mo yung, eto ha, sasabihin ko na to. Alam mo yung skinny jeans or yung slim fit Okay, na pants. Hindi, <laughs> sandali. Hello, wala bang medium yan? Para, hindi ba? Sa injection ka ba na may milo? Parang ganyan. Ay, okay. Parang, meron na rin ako sinabihan yan. Kasi yung jeans, yung stretch. Di ba yung stretch? I remember, minsan, pag hindi yung bakit sa may hip area mo, kailangan mo itaas ng itaas. So, gaganon ka talaga. Ay, nako. Wala na size. Talagang, I mean, kasi, wala na bang size? Naman, diba? Wala bang size ang pare? Medium ba? Small ba? Tsaka, <laughs> nakita mo na yung, yung tibok ng puso gumaga ng pare, nervous ka, no? Alam mo na eh, kasi talaga, bakit? Eh, kasi, <laughs> wala ganyan. Okay, masyado. Ang basagot ko Miss Ocel, kasi ito sa Zara, kaya ito na yung nagkasya sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, sa akin is this, uso ang slim fit, hindi tight fit. Did you hear? Did you hear? Hindi tight yeah. fit. Slim fit. Slim fit. Hindi tight fit. Kasi yung tight fit, jeggings. Jeggings is not for the office. Jeggings is not for men. Huwag ka magkabi okay. ng jeggings. Naalala ko rin yung nanay ko. Nagsisimba ko naka-jeggings siya. Okay lang maka-jeggings siya kung mahaba ang top niya, di ba? O oh, mahaba naman ang top niya. Okay. So, jeggings sa akin, is not for everybody. No, it's not. Ang sa akin is that slim fit. Pero ko yung nag-aagaw buhay na sa chan mo yung mga butones. I mean, hello. Hindi ba alam namin yung fit? Just ko Alam na namin. Kasi hindi ka na makahinga. I mean, really. So, yun lang. Well, Lorraine, I think was my gym mate daw. Gym mate ko daw si Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Lorraine, mamaya ka na mag-comment. Sandali. Kasi... Speaking of gym, sorry, Lorraine, ayan na, binati kita. Hi, Lorraine, shout out. Si okay, tapos na mag-shout out. Next, ang question ko ito. May sorry, natin ta- hindi ako makabubo on sa jeggings. <laughs> hindi ako makabubo on talaga. Sorry, Kasi ang bago ko nakikita, hindi ako makabubo on. Oh my God. Sige, bago hindi ka makabubo on, papatihin ko muna si oh Ethel. Okay, Ethel is listening Hi. from California. Wow. I, I think just woke up now in California. Ayan na. Ang mga nagigising yeah. na yung mga okay. ano natin, friends. Okay. Okay. Well, kung nakikinig uh, ka sa amin, magiging happy ang day mo because pinapaligayan namin ang buhay mo. Ginugulo namin ang tao. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, going back to that, you know, what is okay. proper for men. I mean, madali, alam mo sa akin ha, madaling turuan ang men. I mean, in most of my classes, the ones who really listen are the men. Because sometimes, yeah, uh, it, yes, and I see the best results usually sa men. Kasi ang babae, ay, nye, 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 maraming ganon. Pero yung, yung men, you tell them what to wear, you tell them specifically what they have to buy, you tell them lang kung ano yung match, they will do it. You know, it's like the words are golden to them. It's because of lack of education lang, or they just don't know. You They're know, not naman nila. yes, gagawin naman nila ang, ang sunuri nila because, you know, they trust you with it. So, Shepard, you have to be credible resource also. Of diba? course, kalang credible ka. Pero, Miss O, paano yung mga tao hindi, hindi naging estudyante mo? Like, ma, lalo na, I'll tell you the truth, straight men and bading, I, whether they admit it or not, have the same insecurity about self-image. So, kung yeah. nyari nakita ng, uh, kung nyari nakita ng uh, straight guy, uy, 
nag-aano to mga ano kunyari hindi nila susuot eh pero eventually dahan-dahan ang nilang gagawin niyan gagaya sila sa mga bading and eventually nagko-cross over and I I've, I've been privy to that kind of uh, example ever since I was in school so kunyari may mga bading na magsusuot ng tatanan niyo crayola o crayons nung araw na sa tapos <laughs> yeah yeah I know that I know that yeah. diba? I know that diba? Ay, galing, galing, galing akong Amerika. Sabi ko, naku, gusto to sa Amerika sa mga, ano, mga valley girls. So, lalaki na susunod, ano. Tapos, sinuot ko sa Lasal nung pag-uwi ko from, uh, from the bakasyon. Tapos, biglang sabi, baklang-bakla ka naman, Raymond. Naka-red crayons ka. Sabi ko, ganun. Sabi ko, mahal ko binili yan. Inipon ko yan. True enough, three months after, everybody in school wanted to get crayons. Sabi ko, o, kala ko ba baklang-bakla yan? Eh, maganda pala. O, ngayon. Oo. May, may Nag- ganyan muna sila. Mamimintas muna sila. And then, pag nag-uso-uso na, susunod-sunod din sila. So, ganyan lang yan. Pero, ibig sabihin, mm. napapansin ka. Ganyan lang. Meron lang ganyan silang moment. But the thing is, you know, lalo na ito. Ito, pet peeve ko to. Alam mo yung Sige. no socks? Yung, yung mga sa, sa no socks. Okay. Uh, di ba yung no socks, no show Edwin, socks? Okay. Ganyan yan, nag-no socks si Ed. Oh, may, may, binabaya, may binabagayan yan at meron niyang, meron niyang time na pwede ka mag-no socks. May outfit yan. May certain ah. shoes na bagay. When in fact, I already have Danny written Lover. that. I have written that already in my Lover. website. It's there. Penny loafers is good. But you know, to some, hindi eh. Basta makapag-no socks lang sila. I mean, hello, have mercy on you. It's the wrong shoes. It's the wrong fit of pants. It's the wrong everything. May look yan. Merong certain way of wearing those. So, basahin nyo na lang sa website ko yung what are the rules of the no socks shoes or how to match your socks with your, you know, with your pants. Kasi ang socks may na match sa pants, hindi sa shoes. It's an extension of your wardrobe, gentlemen. So, you know, my students know that. Alam na nila, ang golden rule na yan. Yan. <laughs> Pero si, si Ralph, si Ralph Ivan, meron siya magandang point. Sabi niya, having good etiquette is also an issue between rich and poor, privileged and underprivileged, and access to education. I believe that. Uh, access to education. Thank you, thank you Ralph. Si Ralph talaga, masyadong matalino, ha? No, hold on. Let me just say. So having good etiquette is also an issue between rich and poor. Now, let me tell you this. Sometimes, those who are rich are the ones who lacks in etiquette. True. Hindi naman niya sinabi okay. which one yeah. lack of etiquette. Hindi yan. Hindi oh, yan. Tama. So, tama so, hindi lahat ng mayaman, in fact, they're the ones who are sometimes rude because they're more privileged. Hindi nila may karapatan oh, sila. Correct. So, yung mga may, yung mga may hirap, sometimes ang mas magalang pa. Kasi they appreciate what they don't have. So it's it's really more sometimes not even access. To, sometimes it's more of who you are. Eh. Di ba? Paano ka din pinalaki? So there's a whole context of when we talk about etiquette. So sasabihin nyo ito, ah, kasi breeding yan. Ganon? Pagbintang ng mga magulang, breeding talaga? Magulang na naman? Kami na naman na may diferensya. <laughs> ako na naman? Ako na naman? Magulang? Hindi ba? Eh, wala kami mabintang na iba, so magulang Oo. na muna. So they would, sometimes they would say may, maybe it's yung ano um uh, environment oh, which is true diba so, true. Before, yeah, oh, okay. before when you say tundo takot lahat ng tao diba kasi notorious yung tundo pero now okay. hindi actually lahat na ng lugar ngayon notorious kasi nagkalat-kalat na yung mga tago tundo nag nagstorm na lahat ng lugar lahat ng lugar so oh, there you go tapos ano pa so it's it's now you know what I'm saying? Maraming factors of rudeness. Why people are rude? Why people are this? So it's not because of, ano, it's not only because of rich and poor, you know. Sometimes it's not even that. Even if you have the best education. And I have seen people with the best education. They are the ones who are lying. They are the ones who are stealing. They are the ones who are, you know. Are we talking get- politics now? Okay. <laughs> nakita niya in fact I think nakita niya so, yes, ako, alam ko may multo sa likod mo ano ba yan but hindi mo nalang kasi bibigay ko anong gusto 
Baka hindi nga sa mga hindi nakakita at nakikinig lang kayo, uh, lumabas po yung anak ni Janice sa sahig na bumugapan. Na, nakahubad ba siya? Hindi naman siya nakahubad. Hindi ano. naman. Kaya alam mo, kinukuhatan niya yung charger niya na nasa sahig. Ala, brat ang tao nakakita. Oh my God, natapot rin sila. It seems like, it seems like lahat sila. Oh That's God. so funny. That's so funny she was there. <laughs> Ako din, I was like, what is that? Am I the only oh, one thing? Wag ka pag sisigaw sa tako, Janice, wag ka gagalaw. Wag ka gagalaw, Janice. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> she saw herself. Kaya natara ko. She saw herself, I know. That's why she she, wave, she went back. Kaya nakita ko siya, bigla siya umatras. Pinawinisan <laughs> ako. That's so funny. Ako rin, nakakatawa. So anyway, asa na tayo? Huwag <laughs> na, nawala na tayo. Nawala na tayo. Pero makapahinga kayo. May kikwento akong isa na nag-gym ako dati. Tapos, uh, I I got, I bumped into four, I know, three straight guys. Alam ko straight sila. Kilala ko yung mga girlfriend, kilala ko yung mga, mga, mga semi-models to mga to. So, tapos na sila mag, ano, tapos na sila mag-gym. Uh, tapos ako, kakatapos ka, kakapasok ko lang. Sila naka-shower na. So, naka, nakatapis na sila. And then, Lumapit yun isa sa harap ng mirror. At sabi niya, pare, you think I should ano, fit in my eyebrows? Kasi I feel like, you know, it, it has, I have to be more hairier on the eyebrows kasi mas lalaki yung ganun. So naglabas ng eyebrow pencil yung kasama niya. At sabi niya, oh, ito pare, why don't you fill it up? I'm like, oh. ayun. ayun <laughs> na, na, na. Siyempre, nasyak ako. And then, after this, at ito, I'm sure na kayo na, lumabas naman yung third part, yung third friend nila. Sabi niya, oh, nag-eyebrow ka na pala eh. Oh, ito yung powder, don't forget, ha, mat tayo ha. Kasi, you know, pag oiliness daw tayo, mahirap daw tayo. Mga mat, mga guapo daw yan. <laughs> Kasi oiliness, sabi nila, is next to... Oh. to ugliness. Ugliness, di ba? But ugliness okay. is next I'm to oily. loneliness. So, malungkot ka pag oily ka, mag-isa ka sa buhay. Kaya yun siguro ginagawa nilang dalawa. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko na narinig yan, ha? Yung oiliness. Oh, what's it? it? It's next to, alam mo yan. Oiliness, next to ugliness, next to loneliness. Mm-hmm. Pero yun ang pwede din naman. Malungkot ka pag oily ka. And I tell that to my students. Alam nila yan. Ayoko na. Oily ba ko? Pinapaglaan. Ba- <laughs> 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 I just said, uh, we just, we just, chepe, diba? I don't, I don't, I'm, you're freezing, Janice. I, I didn't hear you. Obilis. Raymond, ano yung point ng kwento niya? No, ang point ng kwento is this. I'm freezing. So, I'm okay. Na, okay na, ka na. Is it an accepted oh. norm na dapat maglagay ng baby powder sa mukha ng mga lalaki? Because I feel baby powder shouldn't be put on the face. May mga tao nagbabaon ng baby powder oh, sa pan. Ha? Masyado maputi yun, di ba? Wait lang. Isat na ka point. Talagay sa picture sa panyo, ginagano nila, tapos... No, no. Ganito yan. Let me just tell you. Naku. Diba? Ano na-achieve niya dyan? Kamukha niya nanay ni Casper. Okay? Espasol siya. Mga yan ang mga na-achieve mo dyan. And let me tell you this. And I will tell this to the people now. I don't have anything against baby powder, but baby powder is comedogenic, meaning it can block pores. So because ah. baby powder is only used for baby's butt, not unless this is a butt, okay, and this is the same, then you could use it on your face. That is why ang, uh, ang uh, makers ng baby powder, naglaba sila ng compact powder because this is the one that you use for your face. Remember, anything that you use neck up is different from neck down. Okay, so yung pampuet, di pwede. Di ba sa bata yun? Oh. Sa puwet na bata. Ano yung pampuet? So, hindi pwede yung pangbuka. Oo naman. So that is why kasi ang puti. And then minsan, hindi nila dala yung buong oh. talcum. Lalagay pa sa pa, sa panyo, di ba? Doon oh. pa tinatak. Doon ni store. Okay? So, and then iiwan nila maputing-maputi yan <laughs> sa ladies room. Oh, exactly. Ito, ano ito? Di ba? Anong kagagawa na naman ito? Anong, ano sino na naman ang magmamaganda rito? Okay? Kayo Ayun. yan. Nagmamaganda. So, that, is, baby, that is why merong, eh, may blotting paper na merong, um, you know, powder. Powder. Or, yeah, Wag mo na lang bilhin yung yung merong yung merong babaeng Espanyola matanda na yun na hindi na uso yun kasi <laughs> oh. so, you use the one meron na yun for men may powder for men na blotting ito ito ito, ito. mura ko na bilhin sa Watsons yan. ano yan 
Teka nga. Ay, we can't see. Hindi namin nakikita. Pero meron siyang green tea. Ay, mimiso pala ito. Mumuso pala. Blotting paper. Mga mga bakla, lalaki straight, or mga pangit at mga gwapo, pwede ba mag-blotting paper na ho kayo? Huwag kayo magbaon ng pulbo. Wait, oh. Miss O and Janice, may tanong ako sa inyong dalawa. Uh, is okay. It, between the two of you, is it acceptable already? Kasi nagbebenta na naman sila ng makeup for men. Hmm. To actually, it is Korean novelas. Ikaw, fan ka rin siya. Alam mo, naka-highlighter sila. Alam mo, naka-glow. Alam mo, naka-dewy look. Yeah. Is that normal? Is that acceptable for you girls already? Basta cute sila, acceptable <laughs> sila. Okay? So, so tayo mo, Marte. Diba? Huwag tayo mo, Marte. Although, kan- minsan pag nanonood ako, minsan nakikita ko, iniisip ko rin, ano ba to? May ilaw siyang sarili niya? Napadami ba yung highlighter niya? Hindi ba niya shade yung BB cream niya? O ay talaga yung maganda yung balat niya? Yeah. So that's, Pero, that's... At the end of the day, I am guilty of that also when it comes to dramas. Kasi there are times talaga na hindi mo na naiisip na teka itong eksena ng ito, ba- baka dapat bawas-bawas ng konti ng makeup, di ba? Bawas-bawas ng foundation. So I'm also guilty of that. Feeling ko, ah, baka wala silang time. Pero uh, at the end of the day, basta cute sila, tapos ang usapan. Wala na ako problema doon. Ikaw, so, uh, sa akin, is that ganito. So I guess pag artista ka, iba eh, no? Iba yung, yung dating. So, Obviously, blending is the key, okay? Kung hindi mo ma-blend yan, huwag na. Okay, blending is the key always. So, some men kasi, because I teach men, yung people who goes to office, you know, people, hindi, hindi sila artista, di ba? But there are artista in their own office. So, the thing is, sometimes kasi, pagka may makeup, hindi acceptable sa lahat. So, that is why, sa akin, you know, there is nothing that would cover for good skin. Kung aalagaan mo ang balat mo, Diba? Diba Medyo less na ang problem mo when it comes to that. That's why nga, dyan na naman tayo pupunta sa CTM. Alam mo na how to clean your face. Don't use the Grooming. sabon. Oo, Grooming! Oo, don't use it. Huwag mong gamitin yung sabon sa sa katawan para sa mukha. That you cannot. Because iba ang need ng neck up. Okay? Yung sabon sa panlaba, huwag mo din gamitin sa mukha. Kasi, Ay, kasi para na. Ay, hindi nga uso yun. Iba kasi naglalabas sa bayligo na eh, di ba? So, Wait. no, you cannot. Ang Wait. important is use a facial foam or facial wash. Yun, Pearl, ay, bakit sabi natin hindi na uso? Nung araw yun, Damon, hindi na uso yun. Tito, tito Jason, hindi na uso yung Pearl mo. <laughs> oh my God, Jason, I love you. Pero <laughs> <laughs> yan, ang kawain yan. Love Pero yan. Pero bago na gamit nilang shampoo yun, ha? Serious ako, ginagamit nila siya po. Perla! Serious ka? Okay. Oh. Now, <laughs> marami ng ano ngayon, ha? marami na pong products ngayon out in the market. So, ano pwedeng gamitin? Sa tamang ano? Sa tamang, <laughs> sa tamang, tamang, pa, sa tamang paglalagay. I don't, I, I haven't, I don't know. I think there is still Perla, at, but it's just, you know, even bar soaps now are more different, right? So, uh, Nakita mo na ba yung Perla? Seriously? I mean, no offense. I mean, even niloloko ko si Tito Jason yeah. yung Perla Cute is, yung Perla binibenta sa ano, beauty beauty part ng store. Ah! Oh, they do? Okay. Yes. So, sa mga this game, may the same part. Sa grocery pala, sa grocery, sa grocery. Grocery. But because it is also, siguro they're, they're attributing it na para siyang pareho ng, you know, certain product, I cannot say. But, Uh, if perla is pang laba, then use it only for laba. It's not okay. used for the ang, ang nakalagay dun sa perla, the reason why matapang, sige na nga, aminin na natin, kaya kami bumili ng perla, is because it's <laughs> organic, it's made from pure coconut oil, and natural or, uh, ingredients that okay. the original soaps are, ayan na, si Tito Jason sumagot na. Ayan na, 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 sinasabay niya na yung ligo niya, kaya yun na nagagamit niya. Alam mo, alam mo ganito one time, pag nakita ko siya naglalabay, hindi ko papalatan na idiretso niya sa ligo, ibibideo ko, papakita ko sa inyo. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, Jason, mag-ingat ka. No, but what I'm saying is there's so many products out in the market now and wag ko ano yung gamit ng asawa mo gagamitin mo because your asawa or whoever is sister, mother has a different skin need than yours. So, alamin mo yes. what is your skin. Because ah. men has a different skin 
need. That is why in the dip gro gro grocery, men's, isang buong pader ng men's products nandyan. You know why? Because men has realized now that grooming is really part of a routine. Hindi na to pambabaya. Oh, and grooming it's a most important industry. It's a billion dollar industry. In fact, they, mas, they, yeah, mas mahal pa sila sa... sa so, look for the perfect product for you, for men. Diba? Iba yung sa girl, iba yung sa boy. So... Okay, yeah. because I work in the advertising industry, I have I have some sort of, you know, secret na pwede, wala naman nakikinig, di ba? So ito na yung secret yeah. natin. Uh, <laughs> the thing about it, sometimes they repackage the same ingredient. The only difference is they just change the scent. Mm. I can, I privately, I can tell you which ones these are because I've dealt with them and... Uh, Wag na natin sira yung kanilang marketing ploy. But the point is, sometimes you need to read the ingredients also para malaman natin kung totoo yan. Right. It could maybe because the the, hey, the other scent wasn't selling. So that's why they need to change the scent. Or maybe they're trying to attract a different kind of market. So they'll make it like a scent right. more attractive yeah. more to men than okay. the women. So, it, you know, it's reinventing a product really. Hindi ko talaga pwede sabihin yung product. O ito na yung product, product manager, kausap ko na siya. So sabi ko, <laughs> bakit, ito maganda, no? bakit mas mahal ang product na for men moisturizer versus the product na pang babae. Sabi na, sir, kasi ang babae, maarte yan. May toner, may cleanser, tapos may moisturizer sa gabi, may moisturizer sa ano. May patience sa babae. So, binababaan namin ang presyo para bumili sila ng maraming products. Ang lalaki tamat, pagkaligo, dapat ginagano lang daw yun, tapos alis na daw sila. So, mamahal lang nila yun sa lalaki. Pero, at the end of the day, sabi niya, pareho rin yung laman yan. In fact, one of the other things that they told me was this. When they compared one moisturizer to another, there are, there, I will tell you lang two factors. Kasi nga mahilig ka kong mag, maglalalagay rin sa mukha ko. And then when I learned about this, I became more wise about it. Number one, uh, depend sa brand kung anong moisturizer ang ginagamit mo. is depende rin sa sa kind of people using it. For example, if it's a European brand, then ang target market nila, European na tao. For example, mm -hmm. made in Japan, eh, na mga hints ko, kung made in Japan organically yung product, pang Asian market, kunyari yung Yes, ganon. yes. Even makeup, di ba? Yeah. Even makeup, ganon. Even, oh yeah, even makeup na ganon. So that's why, when this person started explaining things to me, sabi ko, ibig mo sabihin, ang lakas ng gastos ko, and I could have gone to a lower level of moisturizer, oo, mas safe ka pa nga sa lower level kasi oil, oiliness ka, sabi niya. Pero ang marketing is different from sometimes what the reality is. And it's, everybody wants to make money. It's a business. So gusto nilang, and that's the reality naman of, ano talaga, of the business. Eh. Gusto nilang kumita. Right. And that is why there is such a thing as you call, diba in the United States, there is such a thing as you call a drugstore product, a, a drugstore beauty product, which is, uh, the more lower price mm -hmm. value rather than the more expensive products. But at the same time, if you take a look at the ingredients, you know, meron dyan pareho lang. So that is why meron silang nilalabas sa mga magazines, the top 10, you know, ganitong mas ma murang ingredients, your drugstore buys. Because sometimes, you know, the drugstore buys really works. So hindi siya kailangan. So remember this, ang pagpapaganda, hindi kailangan mahal. Okay, kailangan, alamin mo lang kung ano yung kailangan mo and don't overuse products. Kasi when you overuse products, then you, have to, you tend to have more problems. So, use only what you need. Diba? Use only what you need. Simple is always better. Okay. Hindi ka kailangan maraming ritual. Ang importante, malinis ka. Yeah. Also. Yeah. yeah. Malinis ka, you diba? need and clean. Well grown. Skin Ay, is important oh, oh. kasi hindi mo ito matatakpan. This is always the naked part of the face. The, the body is always the face, right? So, and this is always the first point of contact. That's why we take care of this all the time. Pwede ka mag-turtle neck, oh. Hanggang dito. Just ko dahil, sa Pilipinas ka mag-turtle neck ka, no? Nag eh, laylay na eh, laylay na eh. Kaya tinitirtle neck hanggang dito. Pero ang prerequisite ng turtle neck, dapat may neck. Okay? So, alamin mo lang. 
yung mask mo diretso na parang ganoon <laughs> diba so one na lang Okay, so, ingat-ingat lang. <laughs> Akala ko mabait si Miss O. <laughs> sa gabi, ganito ako. Sabi ko sa iyo, okay. eh, the boldest ever sa gabi. <laughs> kaya dapat nga, ano, oh kaya God. dapat nga usapin namin paggabi para tis lahat lumalabas. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually more also information for people out there that, like, you know, when they say, oh, medyo mahal yan, Miss O. Kasi, di ba, when we teach about this in class, hindi, hindi kailangan mahal ang pagpapaganda. Or, kasi kung alam mo yung sarili mo, then you don't need to buy anything else. You only buy what you need. Kung ano yung tama exactly. sa'yo. Now, exactly. that's the difference, you know, that's the difference between us image consultants is we teach people how to think intelligently na hindi ka gagastos ng mahal. So that, hindi ba, hindi siya, it, you, you have the knowledge already, so alam mo kung ano yung maganda sa'yo, ba't ka bibili ng kulay na hindi maganda dahil uso? Eh, hindi ka nga maganda eh, huwag mo ipilit, di ba? Para <laughs> Sino magsasabi sa kanila? I mean, like, kunyari, uh, uso ang fuchsia pink for lipstick, and then binabagayan, obviously, mga bata. E, yes. Bigla, ang, sasabihin ni tita, Oy, iha, I like that lipstick. Where'd you buy that? Ay, naku, I just bought it, kunyari, sa ganito. The next day, pumunta si tita, at then, dun siya kukuha ng ano. Who can tell, you know, I mean, how do you, how do you, do you need to correct these things? Do you let them be and fi- let them figure out na mukha silang tanga after, you know? Now, okay, this is the thing, okay? Ngayon, sa dami ng nakalagay sa YouTube and all, you really okay. have to, di ba, arami ng education, I, in fact, education abounds right now. Talagang sobrang dami that you can really get a lot of information. Yeah. So, how to tie a necktie? Three million and one ways and dyan na, oh. Hindi mo na. Ang dali-dali na. Ang dali-dali na. na, oh. na, oh. na, oh. na. So, also, when you, when you, let's say, for example, yung lipstick, okay? Ako, if you notice, di ba, I think you've noticed this way before, I've always used lighter lipstick. Uh-huh. Ako si lighter lipstick more than the red. Kasi feeling ko pag naka-red ako, para may gala kay Mang Ben. Ganun ang feeling ko. Kailangan magpusod ako. Parang ganun ang feeling ko pag naka-red lipstick ako. Talagang, you know, naka-out there ako. So, I'd like my eyes to be bolder than my lips. Why? Because I have to find balance. If my eyes are darker, my lips are lighter. So, when your lips are darker, your eyes are lighter. So, wag naman yung puro dark ito, dark. Parang bug-bug sa mukha, di ba? Parang Ay. 80 <laughs> shot. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Ito maganda. I, we, we were running out of time again. Ito yung mahirap oh, sa mga God. usapan. Ito yung walang katapasan. At ang gusto, ang dami ko pa ang gusto tanungin. At ang daming oh. questions na tao, Okay. Oh. Okay. okay, on the last few minutes, Miss O, lahat tayo. What are you, what are the things you want to ano mga pointers sa mga taong nanonood and ano para maging okay. maganda. Para maging maganda. Okay? Ikaw muna ay uh, Jandy si ikaw muna. Gawin natin huli yeah. si Miss O. Jandy sa mga ano mo na experience mo. Ano yung mga tips that you've learned na pwedeng maging maganda or socially acceptable ang mga tao sa ano to become beautiful at hindi nagmamaganda lang? Ako, for me, import, importante, pinaka-importante sa akin is grooming. I, okay. I personally believe that the, a woman's best makeup is her disposition. You Ay. have to be confident. You have to trust yourself. And diba, you have to know how to carry yourself. Mm-hmm. Yun ang pinaka-importante. That, for me, you can do that, maganda ka. Very nice. Okay, see, I will represent the man's point of view. Kahit ba din po ako... Okay. The reason why uh, most of them na nagko-crossover sa mga lalaki is this. Number one, tama si Miss Janice, uh, iba po ang lalaking naliligo araw-araw. Kasi, <laughs> trust me, ang sasabihin ng mga babae is, ay, ang bangkong pangunya pag pumapasok niya sa kwarto, parang siya yung, pinak- siya yung gusto kong kasama everyday. In ay, become, mukhang what? mabango. Iba yung mukhang mabango sa totoo na nandiyo. Mukhang mabango. Ha? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, was yeah. number two. Ito, secret ko to mga kaibigan. Instead of lipstick at naiingit kayo sa mga Koreano, meron ho tayong nabibiling chopstick sa drugstore. Alam niyo po yung mentholated na chopstick para ma- hindi mag-dry ang lips niyo. That's okay. Right. Sa mga lalaki na gusto maging Korean novella type of look, gagamitin niyo sa lips niya parang dewy yan makakatipid ko kayo sa makeup kasi nga hindi kayo may ng lipstick. Ah, at pag sinabing ang luscious ng lips mo, sasabihin mo natural yan. You would you like to kiss to try it? May flavor ka na kagad, di ba? Number two, 
Pwede mo rin gamitin yung chapstick na yan. Uy, totoo ito is owa. Sa cheekbones. Para may do it ka. One item that will give that whole thing. And thirdly, which ayaw, ayaw aminin ni Tito Janice, and ayaw ko rin aminin sa sarili ko, when the older you get, nakakalbong eyebrows ng lalaki. Hindi po nakakahiya. <laughs> Mag-feel ko. Kahit babae. Kahit babae. Hindi nakakaya mag-feel. Because as a photographer, ako na nagsasabi sa inyo, when you talk to people, the first thing they look at is the eyes. So, parang it communicates better. Ito yung mahirap about society. The thicker the eyebrows naman, or the, you know, the more filled in, the younger you become, kunyari. So, okay lang yan. So, nandyan na rin yung mga retouching of hair. There's nothing wrong with that. Plus, oh, it, everything is available naman. Eh. So, at the end of the day, like, like what you said, if you feel that you need it, there's nothing wrong. You know, as long as hindi ka overboard, yun hindi ka magbukang clown. Mm-hmm. Kasi yun lang mga ano doon. Ayan, Miss O will close this okay. by giving her, her tips and comments. Go. All right. So, I, I like the idea that you're saying grooming is really part of beauty. And that's really the truth. Because you have to go down to basics, which is beauty. But I'd like to bring it up a notch higher. But when we say, what is really beautiful? Okay. What is beautiful when we're talking about physical? You know, that wanes, di ba? Maraming, ibig sabihin nagbabago-bago yan. But what is important is confidence in the self. You know, kaalaman sa, sa, sa ulo. Di ba? You have to have also, may alam ka. And also, also, the heart is also pure of heart or your spirit is also filled. So, when when you are that, that means to say you are very confident in your own skin. So, whatever people tell you, basta alam mo kung ano yung bagay sa'yo, ano, you know what looks good on you, you know, that's part of being confident. You you don't uh, you don't become rude to others. That's part of being confident. If you know what to do and what to say, what, what to behave and how to communicate yourself, that's again part of being confident. So, I think, uh, I think I think beauty, when you say it, it's not only just physical, it's not only what is out there in social media, but beauty, it's really more coming from the heart, mind, and soul. So that's that's where I'm going to pick up beauty because yeah. everybody is beautiful. I mean, we are all created with, with God's image. So that means to say we are already beautiful. It's just that we have different parents, different genes. But if if you like yourself, diba, that it's, remember I told you, it will only matter if it you, you make it matter. So if you love yourself, people will know that about you. So people will start yes. loving yourself. You people, you cannot expect love from other people. You have to love yourself first so that people will also love you. So that's, that's feel about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, but that's that's how I always tell my class is no, well we said, well said. I, well said. I cannot co- I cannot say anything after that. I know. Totoo yun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I so enjoy it also. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of our uh, oh, mabut, mabuta tayo ng 1230 again and saying and so saying good night sa binami. Good morning to everybody Bye. out there. Okay, yeah, good morning guys. Bye-bye. And I Enjoy. hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Guys, wag mo na. Oh, babay na muna tayo. But don't, ano first, don't, uh, don't leave. We're just gonna play the OBB and then I'll sign out. Wag kayo aalis. Have a great week ahead.